the heart and soul of everything that I do is the traditional clay work, but um, moving into different mediums, I always like try to learn as much as I can. <laughs> and it's just off of trial and error. And I've never went to school for any of these different mediums, but you just pick it up well, out of necessity, out of the, on the way um, from doing photo shoots, the photography, the video editing, all that. My dream was to add not only the traditional um, clay works that mm -hmm. was um, featured at the Denver Art Museum. Mm -hmm. I wanted to add all the different mediums that I do work in. How my style developed, it was just kind of like, again, being born into a family of potters. Um, I learned what was traditional around that time. I've written a movie script about the Fulbury Bolt. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is like really developing the characters even more and Daniel has, is now playing the, the character, his name is Cade. This allows me to really bring to life the um, characters. Uh -huh. So a lot of the times I will create them in clay first mm -hmm. and then bring them to life on live models. I'm telling the story of the Fall Revolt. So this style is very, um, it looks contemporary, but it's just all made from the traditional methods and materials, but just the subjects that I'm creating myself, I guess that will be really futuristic or yeah. contemporary um, subject matter, but it still all falls into the whole the whole line of um, historic Coach D bubble pottery. So it's just the same methods and materials, but a different time and different subjects that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Not only in the future, but also in 1680.